So we're back today with another review, and this one here is going to be a classic. Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette. We're going to cover many things in this review, including the scent profile, performance, versatility, and of course, we're going to take it to the streets to see what women think of this fragrance. Before we start, if you want to support me and the channel, you can make a purchase at my sample store, scentpilot.com, and here's a code to save you some money on your first order. Without any further ado, let's get into this review. So Spice Bomb, as the name implies, is going to be an explosion of many spices coming together. You're gonna get some saffron, tobacco, leather with some cinnamon. This one here, guys, is gonna come off very warm, oriental, and like the name implies, very spicy. And it's also going to be a very unique fragrance when you compare it to a lot of the other offerings on the market. Majority of fragrances today are fresh, blue shower gel, or maybe very sweet in a gourmand edible way. This one here is going to march to the beat of its own drum, which is a gift and a curse. The gift is this, guys. If you're looking for a unique fragrance, this one here is going to be a great option. On the other hand, it's not going to be the most mass appealing fragrance, which means it's it's not blonde by safe. So with this one here, I definitely recommend you either try it or sample it and not blonde by this one because it's not going to cater to everybody's tastes. Now, of course, guys, we have to address the elephant in the room, Spice Bomb Extreme, which is a flanker of Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette. And this one here, in my opinion, is more popular than the original Flanker. So therefore, I'm going to break down the difference for you in a very simple manner. So Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette, again, a very spicy fragrance, tobacco, cinnamon, leather with some saffron. Spice Bomb Extreme takes those elements from this fragrance and adds a heavy dose of vanilla. This one here is going to be smoother than Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette, and in the dry down is going to become sweet sweeter with that addition of vanilla. So if you're somebody who doesn't like sweet vanilla fragrances, I will stick to the original Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette, but if you're somebody who prefers a smoother, sweeter fragrance, then you will go with the Extreme. But that's pretty much the main difference between these two. This one is going to remain spicy, this one is going to be sweeter and smoother with the addition of vanilla. Performance on this one was solid as well, at least on me. Seven hours of longevity with a very present scent bubble. For the first two hours, Hours, you're going to get a solid foot and a half to two feet off projection. So this one here is going to be attention grabbing. At the same time, it won't be a room filler. For the next three hours, the projection does dial back. It's going to be about a half a foot of projection, but it leaves a very strong scent bubble, at least in my experience. I was picking up nuances of this fragrance around a four hour mark. It wasn't projecting so much, but I definitely felt it lingering in the air. Around that five hour mark, it becomes more of a skin scent, and around that six to seven hour mark, it's going to be faded. So as far as longevity, it's pretty good in my experience. Seven hours of longevity with a pretty good scent bubble. When it comes to the versatility, this may not be the jack of all trades because it's not going to be the most versatile fragrance, but when it comes to the categories in which you are able to wear this fragrance, it's going to be a master in that realm. It's not going to be an all year round fragrance, but when it comes to the cooler weather, like the fall, winter, or a cool spring day, this one here is going to be a phenomenal option. Not the best for high heat because again, it's a very spicy fragrance and it may start projecting a lot and it may come off a little bit cloying and a little bit offensive. So definitely a great option for the cooler weather. And when it comes to professional environments, although this one here is not going to be the worst option on the market, I still don't think it's going to be the best either in those kind of environments fresh and clean is always going to be the best versus a spicy, warm, oriental fragrance. And to follow up on that, I also don't believe that this one here is going to be a great gym fragrance. But when it comes to evenings out, dates, or clubs, this one here is going to be a great option, especially if you're trying to make a unique impression. Not many people are going to be wearing this kind of fragrance, so if you want to stand out from the crowd, Spice Bomb Auto Toilette is a great option for that. So overall, when it comes to the versatility, it may not be the jack of all trades, but it's definitely going to be a great option for the cooler weather or if you're trying to look for a fragrance to make a unique first impression. And of course, we took it to the streets to see what women think of this fragrance. Let's play the footage. Let me put my shades on. I don't like to, I don't like to film without my shades on. People can look me people can look me right in my eyes. Eye contact. They can, they can read my emotions. This, this is emotionless. Oh <laughs> All right, okay. fragrance influencer. It's good to see you again, by good the way. To see you too. Let me get your opinion on this men's fragrance, okay? You can be completely honest again. I like it as fresh. 
It smells like kind of powdery though. Powdery? It is a bit of a powdery touch in there. But like it's something else I'm like I haven't smelled before. Mm. So it smells good. Is it a unique? So it's a unique fragrance unique, to you. Yeah, I haven't smelled anything like this. It's not like a typical men's fragrance. At least mm. I think so. I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, it smells like fresh, powdery, like fresh, powdery. Mm -hmm. So what would you give this one as a score from one to ten? Ten being the best men's fragrance. Mm. It's like a seven. Seven. Six, seven. Yeah. Six, seven. So you it's like it, like, but it's not your favorite. It's like, oh, you smell nice. But it's not like, ooh, you know, it's not like, oh my God, what is that? What are you wearing? But it smells good. It smells good. Yeah. What okay. is it? So the fragrance we showed you today is going to be a classic Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette. Okay. Which is supposed to smell like a cinnamon, tobacco, leather kind of yeah. fragrance. And it gets sweeter as you get into the dry okay, down. Yeah. I see that. Now that you say that, I, I see that. Because I'm like, I haven't smelled anything like that. Not so many people wear this yeah, one. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't, I've never seen that before. So that's really cool. So is there another men's fragrance you like that you want to share with us? Or you prefer more than this one? Because you gave it a 6-7. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's like a really popular one by Tom Ford. Oud Wood. There's Noir Extreme. There is uh, Tobacco Vani. I think it's the Tobacco one. Tobacco Maybe? Vani. I don't know, but Tom Ford has really good men's colognes. Guys, Tom really Ford. For expensive, expensive taste right here, by the way, guys. <laughs> yes. Very much. Well, you were great. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah, good, good to see you. you. I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. What do you like about this men's fragrance right here? Um, I think it's just like calming and warm. It's not too like intense. Calming, warm. Okay. Yeah, I think a lot of men's cologne can be like hyper masculine and like annoying. And I mm -hmm. think that this is very, it's very nice. Very nice. I also think it's universal. So you think both men and women could wear this one? Yeah. I could kind of see that as well. So what would you give this one as a score from one to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance? I mean, like seven. Seven. So you like it, but not your favorite. Yeah. Okay, so the fragrance we showed you is going to be Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf. Okay, yeah, lovely. <laughs> is there another men's fragrance you like that you want to share with us that we should know about? Because you gave this one a seven, so it's not your favorite. Well, I honestly don't know too many. Mm -hmm. um, I like what my boyfriend wears, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, um, is, is it like a fresh fragrance, a sweet fragrance? It's like slightly musky and also floral. Floral and musky. It's a little like this, mm -hmm. but maybe like slightly more um, on the like typical masculine mm -hmm. side of fragrances. I like floral, I like citrus. So I think probably around those notes. Like something in that range will yes. be more up your style. Mm -hmm. Okay, well thank you so much. You're thank fantastic. You. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. You too. I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this popular men's fragrance? Thank you so much. You like it? Yeah. What do you like about this fragrance? <laughs> go for it, go for it. It's not too strong. Not too strong. Yeah. So more on the subtle side yeah, for you? Yeah, very musky. Very musky? Yeah. So what would you give this one as a score from one to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance? I'd give it a good eight. A good eight? Yeah. Okay. So the fragrance we showed you is going to be the classic Victor and Rolf Ooh, Spice like Bomb. Bottle. Yeah. So it's called Spice Bomb and they make the shape and then you have like the little bottle holder here. It's kind of like creates that grenade effect. Yeah. So this one is supposed to be more of a spicy, tobacco, leathery fragrance. Okay. So before I leave, is there another men's fragrance you like that you want to share with us or we should know about? Not specifically, no. Not specifically? No. Okay, well you're great. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a good day. Bye-bye. Hi, how are you today? I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this popular men's fragrance real quick? Sure. Thank you. You can take it, smell it, give us your honest opinion on it. That's nice. It's nice, okay. I don't know what notes it has and not that <laughs> That's fair. That that takes a lot of practice, trust me. It's like coffee kind of. I like coffee like. warm, yeah, maybe. Like warm. Okay. Yeah, okay. I feel like it's like kind of floral. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you both like this fragrance? Are you yeah, a fan of it? Nice. Did you make it? I did not make it. It's a popular fragrance. <laughs> okay, a popular okay. fragrance. So from one to ten, ten being the best men's fragrance, what would you give this one as a score? If you want to smell it again, you can. I'll smell it again. Thank you. A seven. I would give it a seven. Yeah, yeah it's very nice. common so you have consensus. To see, like, it's different on everyone. So it's you true. Have to it's true. See how it is, huh? So why would you guys give it a seven, for example, and not a ten? Like, is there a particular reason why? It feels kind of cheesy. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm explaining myself properly. Yeah. It feels like a cheesy cologne. Is, is it like forgettable maybe for yeah. you? Forgettable, so not maybe the most memorable fragrance. I like, like musky. I 
feel like it's not very musky. Yeah, this is more of a spicy fragrance yeah. because the name is Spice Bomb oh. by Victor and Rolf. Okay. <laughs> it's supposed to be more like a cinnamon, tobacco, leathery fragrance. Oh, you have to actually pull the like the little grenade thing. Too spicy. <laughs> nice. It's, it's cool though. Yeah, I, I, I like the marketing of the. Yeah. The packaging, in my opinion, is one of the best ever made on fragrances. To uh -huh. be fully transparent. Yeah. Were you sent by them? No, I just do unbiased reviews on the oh, internet okay. for men's fragrances. Nice, nice. So before I leave, since you both weren't the biggest fans of this fragrance, okay. I mean, you liked it, you gave it a seven, but not the best for okay. you, right? Are you gonna show us a better one? No, I was gonna ask you actually. Um, do you know any better ones that you prefer other than this one here? <laughs> No, but I like the Hugo Boss commercials. The Hugo Boss commercials? <laughs> they make it look like it smells good. I don't know. That's okay. <laughs> Shout out to the Hugo Boss commercials. <laughs> what about you? Any any men's fragrance you like? I don't know. I'm not going to say any because they're like typical. No, it's okay. It's okay. Chanel. Arab Chanel. men. <laughs> Arab men cologne. Arab yeah. men cologne? Yeah, like, they just go for the muscular. Yeah. Yeah. Like Dior Sauvage. Dior, Dior Sauvage. No, it's actually not that good. I actually you don't like don't Dior Sauvage? I like it that much. I, I'm, I'm, honestly, I don't. Wait, what's it called? Um, I don't know. Do you know the brand? Lavo Santal. Santal 33. Men. Yeah, I like that on men sometimes. Ooh, Santal 33. Yeah. I also really like For Chanel day blue. scent, not for like initials. With the Chanel blue. Blue to Chanel. Oh, yeah, I blue like the Chanel. green Chanel one. Green Chanel. It's in, it's in a, like a circular bottle. Noir, Noir maybe? Green. I don't, are you talking about YSL Opium? No, no, it's yeah. Chanel for sure. For men? Yeah, I think it's actually unisex maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. I'm not familiar with that one to be honest okay, with yeah. you. What's your favorite? I'll leave that for another video, guys. Okay. Well, you were fantastic. Okay, thank, thank you so thank much. You. Have a good day. You like it? You like yeah, you like it as well? Yeah, it's really warm, like warm. For yeah. Warm? Yeah. What do you two like about this fragrance? Because it's warm and what was your reasoning? I prefer like like a more softer cologne. Like not cologne that like like ooh, you know? Yeah. And that's like it's like really nice. So you find this meat to be more on a subtle side, not yeah. like exactly. annoying in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. So what would you give this one as a score from one to ten? Ten being the best men's fragrance. Like it's an eight. Like 7.5. 7.58. Okay. So the fragrance we showed you is going to be Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf, which is a cinnamon tobacco leather kind of fragrance. Very warm. Kind of like a fall winter fragrance. So before I leave, is there another men's fragrance you like they want to share with us or we should know about? Um, I don't really know why. I feel like you have an answer for us. Do not say the Dior Sauvage. <laughs> that's the one. Do not say that's the, the one. Savage. That's the one. Dior Sauvage. Yeah, Would you give Dior Sauvage a 10? No. Oh, uh, eight. eight. Okay. Eight, eight depends on the person. Ooh, that was that fragrance. Yeah, yeah. I like, um, you know, dip dip? Of course. Yeah, dip dip. There's a, a certain one. Oh, there's so many. Is but it, I like that brand. Is it Dao San? There's, uh, I think that's the most popular one, but I think there's one maybe, more. Maybe, maybe. But you like those niche, unique fragrances I yeah. see. Not many people know about Diptyque, okay. Or like the Versace, like the blue bottle. Like Eros? Yeah, can, I think so. My dad has it. It has like the head in the middle? Yeah, the head in the middle, yeah. That's his favorite fragrance right oh, there. Oh my god, I love that. So. <laughs> like the Thank you so much. Okay, have a good day. As you can see in the footage, guys, majority of the scores were in that seven range. Meaning people didn't love it, at the same time people didn't hate it. They just found it to be okay. It's going to be a unique one because a lot of people smelled it and were like, hmm, we've never smelled anything like this before. So like I mentioned, it is going to be a unique fragrance. At the same time guys, if I'm being fully honest with you and transparent, I do believe there's going to be much better options on the market if you're looking for positive reactions and compliments than Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette. So what's my final verdict on Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette by Victor Monroff? Let's put the bottle down and get serious. So personally, I don't hate Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette. I'm indifferent towards it, where it's like, it's okay. If I had it, I'd wear it. But is it a fragrance I would keep in my collection if I could only pick one Spice Bomb between these two? And the answer is no. 
I simply prefer the extreme a lot more. It's smoother and I prefer the dry down with that vanilla note. I also get better performance on the extreme, not better projection, but better longevity. I also get more positive reactions and compliments with the extreme over the eau de toilette. But again, if you're somebody who's not into sweet fragrances, go with the original over the extreme. So hope you guys enjoy my review of Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette by Victor and Rolf. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below what video you wanna see next. And of course, if you wanna support me, you can purchase the sample at my store, scentpilot.com. And here's a code to save you some money on your first order. Thank you.